Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, and I believe you need to hollow Bitcoin, and you're born to be, okay, the bottom says free, we are born to be free guys. Uh, my last beautiful sunrise here in Mexico, yes, I will show you, it's really early, because I got up early to show you. Look how beautiful it is, how I make my videos here. But it's the last day because um, we will fly to Europe and we are going to have a kick-ass adventure in Europe, of course. But more about that later in today's short TA video, showing you a really cool chart again that is exactly telling us what is happening in the world and also with Bitcoin. Uh, let's jump quickly into the charts. I don't have that much time. I need to pack and then drive to the airport and fly. I believe I can fly. Oh, we need to go here. Bam. These charts. Oh, my face is a red in front of the chart. I will put my face too big in the big in the corner there over there where you belong in the corner <laughs> no, like, guys and um, like i've been sharing this is the four hour chart yes uh, I, you know who has been following my videos has seen i drew the line i am saying higher lows higher lows yes yesterday i can draw that one now again a higher low over there and today we see that beautiful candle and a beautiful candle over there that green candle that is now crossing that red line that is very positive mostly when we cross the red line if you look here we go up and then the next candle again test is this but then we stay above the red line you see and then now we need to try to reach again the top over there and that's the 40k level like 39k if we would reach that top, then I expect us to go higher. And why do I expect this? Yes, you can see that, of course, we can break up to the top and to the bottom, eh? or we go that way, or we go that way. That's all possible. But I kind of see this pattern playing out. I'm going to draw it now. I hope you can still maybe um, understand with all the yellow lines on the screen what I mean. I'm going to delete that one. But I kind of see this pattern Peeling out. Oh, I need to go up. And that is what we call a W pattern. And a W pattern is also a pattern that will lead to a breakout. And mostly that breakout will be to the top. It won't be as big as the breakout that we uh, see over here. But still, it can be like a very big breakout, guys. It can still go bam all the way up there. To 46k which would be amazing of course because that would be a very bullish positive sign for bitcoin that we don't break down but we break up so that that's a very beautiful sign i think that can happen to bitcoin if this w pattern plays out uh, again i'm going to put the drawing back as it was it is also in line with what i'm expecting and with this candle over here um, i'm going to fly tonight so tomorrow or i wake up rich or i wake up poor we don't know uh, how i wake up in the airplane that's the exciting part of bitcoin let's jump into the next chart this one guys bam over here i've been showing you this chart yes you know this is um, where this beautiful uh, green dots are on the bottom um, like i said yesterday the blue dot can also appear a little bit later and yes we are bottoming out but from the bottom we are making higher lows at the moment so it looks like we reached the bottom over here 30k and we are going to return up again the next month of june like we always do when we bottom around the 25th of the month before the rest of the month we go up we bottom of the 25th of february and then march we go up we bottom the 25th of march and then april we went up we bottom the 25th of april and then the rest of may we went up then we bottomed 25th of may and now we will of course in my opinion go up and i think that will be the run that will bring us above this red line over here and that is the 200 day moving average guys and in my opinion we need to cross that 200 day moving average and then you know become safe above that 200 day moving average again let's see if this plays out let's go to the next chart bam here 
this is the chart I've been talking about, the bearish cross, because there is a bearish cross on the day chart. If we continue the green line down and the red line up, we could see a bearish cross. A bearish cross is not positive, really not positive. That would mean the start of a bearish period. That's why it's called a bearish cross. Look, the gray lines here, the vertical lines, these are the lines that were a bearish cross over there. And we went completely down with Bitcoin. Gray line over there, this one, we went completely down with Bitcoin. And if we look back to 2017, if it will load, that is a bearish cross over there. This is uh, March 2018, the bearish cross happened. This is born of 2017 over here. Then here the bearish cross was, and that was the start of the bear time. If this cross is going to form, it could be the start of the bear time. But like you see, it looks like it is a nose dive. And these nose dives we had over here, we went green went to the red line over there green went to the red line over there green went to the red line but it didn't cross it it turned up again so we need a huge push of volume inflow into the market that will push the price above that red line and that will be then the reversal of the market in my opinion um, to more bullish again you know and, and, and maybe yes a little bit sideways but again not a bearish cross let's jump into this one bam the monthly chart on the monthly chart you can see we touched the bottom of this box this bottom is always 1.5 times the previous all-time high it was 20k the previous all-time high so the bottom should be 30k before that one if we look to 2013 the previous all-time high was one is 1100 so the bottom of that box should be around uh, 1700 1800 which it was so this times one and a half has been coming every time again back in the cycle 20 times one and a half is 30 we had a bottom candle bottom touch the bottom of that box we had a candle touch the bottom of that box we had a candle touch the bottom of that box and then all the other candles they went up again so i think this was a bearish candle i know this was a bearish candle but let's see how the june candle will be go playing out um guys if we look to the market bam we can see of course that the alts are a little bit recovering and yeah? we can ethereum 5.6 percent we can see the binance going 3.9 yeah this one i don't pronounce the name because i don't like it but 13 percent so we can see that uh, some alts are recovering you can see in the charts as well the green is going up a little bit again so that is also a very positive sign in my opinion but let's jump into the next charts which is bam very cool as well i need to uh, make my smaller fa my face smaller and um, this is the first chart i want to talk to you guys about this is um the bitcoin monthly returns and yes I'm going to agree with you that this has the, been the worst May ever. We had a minus almost 40% drop from the beginning till the end of May at the moment. And you can see that all the other Mays, 2019, we had a plus uh, 50%, you know? And that was w way more positive. 2017, we had a plus 50%. So it is the worst Bitcoin month ever. Um, look at June. This is June, June, June. June, June uh, of the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight years, we had five green years and three wet red years. So there's a huge possibility that green will be a, that June this year will be a green year. Let just pause the video and look at the numbers. Let's jump into the next one. Very important. Bam this one let's check where my face is on this one okay my face is kind of okay yeah I leave it like that uh, even smaller um this chart is showing you the bitcoin supply held by short-term holders and short-term holders is um, sth long-term holders lth and the miners that's the orange one so we can see that the short-term holder peak was over there and we can see that the short-term holders are selling they are selling their bitcoins and who's buying those bitcoins these ones over here the long time holders so the weak hands are selling their bitcoins to the strong hands that are in the game for the long run and the bitcoin miners they are accumulating in so this one is also going up so this combination miners up and the long-term holders up is always a positive sign for the market to turn around 
this here that the short-term holders are selling that is always the people that step in maybe at 50 or 60k that see the price dropping oh no i'm going to make too much loss i'm going to sell and they sell with a loss so that is what i see on this chart so for me very positive chart let's jump into the next one this one bam oh diddy so many charts today yes i'm on a roll <coughs> um guys the total uh, why do i want to share this chart because this is very important to me if you look at this you can see the total assets of major central banks if you would if you would have seen these charts in cryptocurrency you would have gotten out of the market if you would have seen a, a chart going like this oh so beautiful so beautiful oh it's a beautiful beautiful and then bam <laughs> You would get out of the market. You would get out of the market because you would never stay in that cryptocurrency because you see that it reaches the top. And what do we see now in this chart? Just look, the Fed is the red line. You know, they, they have been printing a shitload of money. Shit, from that moment over there, 2020, bam, it went up. But that's not the worst. Check at the ECB. They, they are even doing they, they are even doing more extreme. They have started to look how much money is being printed guys all of these central banks are printing a shitload of money this money is going to flow somewhere and it can't flow at the moment to restaurants because most of them are still, still on lockdown so i believe that this is also going to flow in bitcoin because people want to protect their capital the rich are saving the rich again the rich are giving and printing money again for the other rich and those rich will buy bitcoins and other store values that is what I believe that is happening, and we have never seen these extreme, um, uh, these extreme, you know, multiplying assets at a central bank. And now Biden, I think he said that he's going to do seven trillion extra. That's almost twenty percent of what we already have. This is crazy. Look, the Fed balance sheet is not looking that that healthy, in my opinion. But who am I? I'm just a dude on the beach. But whatever chart I would analyze. And I would see in a chart this happening, um, that, that, that the balance sheet was pretty stable in the last five years, you know, and then we dip a little bit and then we do this. Guys, that is like for me, not the most safe place to be in. But that's my opinion. And who am I? I am Didi. I am Didi that believes in Bitcoin and not in uh, all those things that these central banks create, that dirty field. But that's me. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed this short update. I need to go and pack and everything. So, but if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, something in my eye, and please leave a notification as I love and please leave a comment, yes, and leave a comment, as I love to read your comments and respond to your comments. Thanks for watching. See you later today with a really cool um, family video. You need to see that one. Really cool. And then tomorrow again probably with a TA video, but later, because I will only arrive at 1 o'clock in Spain. I need to pick up the car and then drive another four hours. So maybe tomorrow no TA video or one while I'm on the airport making it like uh, selfie style. Guys, thanks for watching. I wish you an amazing week, a start of the week, Monday morning. Enjoy it to the fullest. Always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin, zoom in and live. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day, as that is exactly what life should be about. That plus we are born to be free. Bam!